Hi again, Pam SD with Pam SD Mini Costuming. So I'm back to talk about that technique that I was discussing in the last video. So this is the side with the fuse in the straight line, which you can see now has a little bit of curve in it because of the curve that I've got in my sleeve. Spent a little extra time pinning, mostly because everything is so small. And uh, I'm going to remove these pins and we are going to see how it looks. So let me get all these threads out of the way. Let's flip this over and see what we've got. Oh, looky there. That looks pretty good. That's pretty nice. Little baby doll sleeve. Let's fold this over this way and see what we get. Little sleeve, nice little cap sleeve right there. Well, looky there. That looks pretty good. I'll gather all of this edge too. I've already got the stitching in it and I've got threads for pulling that and getting that gathered. This looks pretty nice. I gotta trim it back. And the really great thing about this fusing is because this is so small and I don't really need it, I'm just gonna take an edge right here and I am going to pull it off and see how it looks without it. Let's get that edge. We'll just keep pulling. Let's see, we don't need all of this in here. Pick it all out, and that will make my seam a little less thin. So let's do this so we can see it. There we go. Ah, that's pretty good right there. You can see all my little spots. This fabric was, uh, pretty flimsy, so I had to fray check everything ahead of time, but you know what, that looks pretty good to me. Look at that nice little seam, so now this won't be quite so thick. I'll trim this back really, really well, because it's already fray checked. I may fray check it one more time just to be, because you can see even like right there, see it wants to come undone, because it's pretty, pretty, pretty flimsy and thin. But, oh yeah, look at that. That looks good. I'm very happy with this. This works really, really, really well. And uh, will help at this scale because it is really small. And that's what it started out as. And here we go. And uh, I've got a collar to put in here. I've already got that done. So anyway, um, this technique seems to work really well. I hope it's helpful in your future projects. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.